he plays the handsome Prince Charming in Stephen Soli Playhouse's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, and he's also got a bit of a Kins 5 connection this morning. We welcome Austin Bonilla, the handsome Prince Charming. <laughs> Good morning, Austin. Good morning. I have got to tell you, I, first of all, I am so excited to see you. Oh, it's so good to see I you. I am so excited to see you because I've just seen you over the years, and we're going to tell people why I've seen you so much over the years, Austin. But I want to start off, let's just talk a little bit about you. When did the acting bug sort of bite you? Oh, I was really little. I must have been five years old, maybe. Yeah. And um, my, I was determined that's what I wanted to do. And I thought performing. And my grandma found uh, acting camps, actually, at the yes. at the playhouse. And at so that's where I started. Yeah. It was my first like experience on the stage and everything. Yeah. And, and when you got on stage, did you feel like, hmm, this is what I really want to do? Oh, I just, I remember it being so much fun, you know? And I knew right away that it was just, you know, there's a connection there. And, um, and the playhouse, I mean, the group made it so much fun to yeah. be up there all the time. And, um, working and putting in long hours, but mm -hmm. not feeling like you know it was tiring or exhausting ever. Yes. Well, it it is one of the the, the finest uh, places I say for for young actors to cultivate their skill. And I've got to tell you, Stephen Stoley shared a little story with us, and I've got to tell you this. This is what he said. Listen to what he said about Austin. He says, as a child actor. Austin would come to the first rehearsal with all his little lines learned and would amaze and sometimes embarrass the adult actors. He said the problem was that he would eventually learn the other actors' lines and would give them their lines if they couldn't get their lines. And he says, we finally convinced him that, the, that it was the assistant director's job to kind of give him the lines. But you knew your craft. You I, knew it. I know. I was nine years old, though. <laughs> I, was, I felt so obnoxious looking back, you know. <laughs> when there are these actors that have been doing it for 20, 30 years, you yeah. know, I'm, I'm there two years, like six months or something. And all of a sudden, I'm giving him cue lines. I'm like, you should say this now. Like, <laughs> hurry, say your line. Like, you missed it. Yeah, you know? but preparation was always key for you. Yeah. Now, tell us what you've been doing. You've actually been studying in New York. Right. Tell I, us about that, Austin. Well, I spent one year up there, and I just started at NYU. Um, I'm in the Meisner studio up yeah. there, and it's been a blast. It's been so fun. Um, coming back, though, it's just it's an interesting shift, like between studying and practicing and um, making it like very active and like putting it into you know a show versus you know working every day like in a class and um, not really having a payoff like a final product. Yeah. But being back, it's just it's been so nice to like have that you know that gratification and that oh, yeah. you know that response that audience interaction that you don't have when you're training. Yeah. You know? And how much are oh, you loving New York? Oh, it's just... been so nice. Yeah. That's been awesome. Yeah. Well, listen, you are playing Prince Charming yeah. in the stage adaptation of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. If you think there's pressure being Prince Charming, <laughs> imagine what it's like being the son of Deborah Nat Bonilla. <laughs> right? Maybe sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah a little I'm, pressure. I've actually found the pressure of Prince Charming to be quite more overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? Let's talk a little bit about uh, your your role in in the show. Well, um, the show was written by the director of the Backyard Theater, the mm -hmm. children's theater there, Paula Joe Peterson. Yeah. And uh, it's just it's a wonderful show, you know, and it's just it's all laid out for us there. Um, there's audience interaction, there's participation, and the the kids are so active with everything there. And they help move the plot forward. And you know, we ask the kids, we're like, hey, what do, you know, what do you think I should do now? Like, where's Snow White? And, yeah. Like she's in the house. And yeah. we're like, oh, okay. And, so they feel like a you know a really active you know piece of the whole storyline, yeah. and so then it's more gripping, and you know they're engaged the whole time. But um, I mean, it's just it was just easy for me to step into it just because of the way it was laid out. Yeah. Um, I called at the end of summer and I asked if there was a, or at the end of the school year. Yeah. And I asked if there was anything I could uh, help out with around the playhouse because I'd be back in town. And they said, well, you know, we have an opening for Prince Charming if you yeah. want to step in. And I, I was so excited, and I said yes right away. Right. Well, it, it's so exciting to see you doing so well, Austin, and you're so grounded. I want to show people the Austin Bonilla that I remember coming into the newsroom. There's Austin right there to the, to the left of... Uh, there, there he, that's the Austin I remember. So when I walk <laughs> down the hallway today and I see this strikingly handsome young man... That's Austin Bonilla, <laughs> and and of course you are uh, just just so talented, and and, and oh. it's just it's exciting to see you you doing so well. Oh, yeah, thank and, you. and your mom is so proud. We're all so proud of you. Oh, I know yeah. it's been so great. And you know, Wendy came out and saw the show the other day. And she? she brought her daughter Amanda, and it was it was so great. It was yeah. so I was so touched by them. You know, yeah. coming out to support me and, and be there. Good. And did I also read that you did a, a stage show with 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 one of Chris Maru's daughters? Oh, I did. Yeah. With Mirage. With Mirage, she's years also ago. an actress. Yes. We did at St. Mary's Hall. We were in the um, a show called Proof. Out Wonderful. There. That was fun. Well, Austin, what, what, where will we see you one day? Movies, Broadway. What's what what's what are you setting your sights on? I don't know yet. I mean, I feel like I'm right at that point where I'm trying to figure all that out. And yeah. We'll see. I mean, maybe the West Coast, maybe the East Coast, but 
I don't know. I've thought a lot about Texas lately. I love really? it. I love it here. Yeah. This is it's home. It's you know? home. It's well, wonderful. We thought about you as Prince Charming, and I said, well, let's let's <laughs> ask him a Prince Charming question. How do you turn a frog into a prince? Um, is the, is well, it possible, Austin? I mean, really? A crown helps, you know. A crown helps. Yeah. Um, I found that a good big old pair of boots, <laughs> yeah, helps with that posture. And, yeah. Um, um, you know, in a nice costume and a good script. And a good script. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And what I love so much about you is that you've been surrounded by such such supportive people over at the Playhouse. Stephen Stoley said that when you left, you were an 18-year-old kid, but returned a very grounded, mature young man and a fine actor. Uh -huh. And for, for them to be able to say that about you, I know you credit them for much of your success as well. Oh, for all of my yeah. success. You yeah. know, I mean, I wouldn't be even doing this right now if it weren't for them. Yeah. They, it's funny. They asked me. You know, do you think like you've learned anything here? Like, have you been able to take anything up uh -huh. to New York? And I'm just, I'm amazed that they would even ask that. Yes. You know, everything I've learned, I've yes. learned from them. Yes, Austin, congratulations. Thank you, you are so Prince much. Charming. And listen, if I were you, I'd go see him uh, in Prince Charming, Snow White and the Seven Doors. It's happening at the Stephen Stoley Playhouse, and it runs through July 12th. For tickets and showtimes, 4080116. Austin Bonilla is the star, one of the stars. Thank you for being here so Thank much. Thank you so much. And continued success to you. Thank you All right. so much. Well, what up next? I know everything about it is appealing. Everything 